This is the reverse camera's view after I fixed the flickering screen issue. I bought this reverse camera from AliExpress for about $25. I drilled holes on the boot to install the camera and to run the cable from the camera. To make the holes watertight, I used rubber between the camera's bracket and the car boot, and used glue gun to seal of the gap around the cable. This glue will last in most environments, but it will melt if applied in very hot parts such as anything near the engine. I removed few screws to remove this cover. This is the cable that comes from the camera. And this is how the wires are connected. I will later show you why I used the voltage regulator here. I ran the video signal cable through the waterproof cable cover that is connected between the boot and the car body. I sprayed M40 lubricant into the cable cover so that I could run the cable easily. The boots mat cover is already removed here. I had to remove these plastic screws to remove the mat cover. The video signal cable coming from the camera runs through this cable cover, and goes into the boot, then to the screen through the door panels. This is a 30 amp 4 pin relay I used to fix the image flickering issue. This is the circuit diagram. I cut the positive wire going to the reverse light from car's fuse box. And connected the one coming from fuse box to terminal 86, and the one going to reverse light 87. The front screen's positive also connected here. Without the rely the 12 volt current from the reverse light terminals, was mixed with the AC current when the engine is on. This caused the image on screen to flicker. Later I will show the flickering images. This is the wire going to the battery, which are connected to the cigarette lighter plug in the boot. The video signal cable and the power cables going to the screen are run through the door's bottom panel. Through here to the screen. The screen, which also acts as rear view mirror, is mounted to existing interior rear view mirror. This black wire has the power and video signal cable inside. The merging connection is hidden in the door panels. Without the rely, and the voltage regulator, the image was flickering when turning the engine on. This is due to the influence of the AC current from the motor, which causes the current to the reverse lights to fluctuate, resulting in flickering images. So I used the rely to get clean DC from the battery. After using the rely the image was better, but it was still flickering. This is because the AC influence was still there in the DC current from the battery due to the motor.
sensor I used a step down voltage regulator to power the camera. The output voltage of the regulator is set to 12 volt. This regulator has capacitors, which regulates the fluctuating current to constant and clean DC current. The image is now OK after using the reliant voltage regulator.